Busy night here at gymnastics, day two from the Brisbane Convention and Exhibition Center. Good evening, everyone. I'm Kevin Harlan alongside Dominique Dawes and Bart Connor. The men's vault is coming up. This will be exciting. In men's competition, normally in the all-around and the team competition, they have to do just one vault. But tonight, they have to do two vaults from two completely different categories. It will be exciting. There are Olympic medalists competing in this field, but my money is on Marian Dragulescu, the Romanian. He's the most consistent vaulter. Whoever puts two vaults on their feet tonight will win. Dragulescu won a silver last night in day one. For the women tonight, the uneven bars with the dominant personality here from Russia, Svetlana Horkina, who in 1994 amazed the world with her performance in the uneven bars at the Goodwill Games in St. Petersburg, winning gold with this routine. Then in 1998, the stage was set for the stars. Svetlana did not disappoint Dominique the crowd with this incredible performance. Horkina is always a wonderful competitor to look for. But another person to look for will be a star in the making, Holly Vise, junior national champion on the uneven parallel bars from the United States of America. She's competed well internationally and also has more experience under her belt. So the vault is getting ready, and of course the vault has been the uh, talk of this competition. It is brand new as you take a look at the competition order for the men. Eight of the best vaulters in the world here, including a couple of medalists from the most recent Olympics in Sydney, Bondarenka, as well as Lesik Blanik from Poland. American Jason Furr will be in this competition. Up first from China will be Liu Bin, 21-year-old. It'll be interesting to see what he comes up with. I watched him in the warm-ups, and literally, this guy flies. I mean, if he nails his vault, he could land in the third row. This guy can really bounce him. We're going to be talking about start values. Let's see if he goes for a 10-0 start value vault. Okay, now that was just gorgeous. That was a handspring laid out front with a one-and-a-half twist. He can even do that with two-and-a-half twists. His coach told me before the competition he was going to try to water back a little bit, go easy on the body. Nice we have the upcoming form. world championships. That yeah, nice form and nice distance on that Rudy. This guy launches it. Here's a great example of how this new vaulting table is effective. This thing just launches him. It's a great push. Beautiful lineman. He has to land in between those two white lines. Shot. Dominic, tell us about this new vault table they have. Well, the vault table is definitely to make the vault a lot more safer. Before, there was only about 12 to maybe 16 inches for you to get your hands on. Now it's about three and a half feet. So that definitely makes it a, wide, a longer and a safer surface, surface for all the gymnasts. And the first vault brings Lou Bin, 9275. That vault is judged from a 9.6 as the maximum score based on its difficulty value. Yeah. He should go for a 10.0 start value vault on his second one. There are only about four 10.0 start value vaults at all in men's gymnastics because of the new rules since Sydney. They've devalued the value of some of these acrobatic elements. There seems to be a um, situation with the judges, as you can see, the Chinese coach going over to survey that. And that's the reason for our delay. At the same time, we are watching the men's vault. We will also alternate with the women's uneven bars. And we are going to see some incredible performers there. Second vault now coming up for Liu Bin from China. In the finals, the vault scores are average. Let's see if he goes for a Sukahara double back. There it is in the pike position. Oh, and he kills it. Oh, my goodness. That's certainly a 10 0 value there. Outstanding. <laughs> what a 
drill. We saw him work on this in training, but I've never seen him drill it like this. This is the round off, and he's going to do a pike double back somersault. Comes from a 10-0 start value. Just drills it. Perfect landing, too. Zero deductions on that landing. Appropriately enough, this vault was invented by a Chinese gymnast. So our second competitor from Russia is Nikolai Kryukov. Talk with him before the competition. He has had success in the past doing the handspring double front somersault. He said he'll go for that on his first vault. And he has another vault as well. And the two vaults are averaged. He's had some injuries, a finger injury, Achilles tendon, right knee. Oh. A little short on the landing, but other than that, very nice. This is a tough vault, and many of these athletes are getting used to this new vaulting table. Some of them told me before in the training that they thought it was a little slippery on the surface. Here's the handspring on, and then essentially two and a half somersaults afterward. He lands on his feet really low, but luckily he didn't sit down for a major deduction. This is a really tough vault to land. So much acrobatic. And outside that line. Takes an extra tenth of a point off because he's not in line with the vaulting table. So. And his number 9362 after one vault. Kriyukov. And for his double front somersault in his last vault, it was such a difficult landing because it's a blind landing. You do not see the floor first before your feet hit. off now his second vault should be a vault from a 9.7 start value a little lower than his first vault Talk a lot about start values the guy with the highest start value vaults in this competition will be up next Dragulescu he has a 10-0 and a 9-9 if he goes for the vaults he planned all right not a bad vault judge from a 9-7 in terms of its difficulty. That was the Sukahara with the double twist. Pretty impressive for a guy who's broken his leg, torn ligaments in his knee, has had an Achilles tendon repaired, and he can still <laughs> fly down here, launch himself into the air. Layout with two twists. Kriyakov finished fourth last night in the men's pump. Second vault, 9.4. First, 9.362. Which takes us to Marianne Dragulescu from Romania. He's one of the few gymnasts in the world that will go for this handspring double front with a half twist at the end. Let's see if he makes it here. He's had success on it in the past. Got to get a good push off that new vaulting table to make this thing. He won the 2000 World Cup final on this event. Oh, fantastic. Beautiful. Dominique, you know how hard that is. Definitely. With the half twist, it makes his landing a lot easier, though, so he can see the floor first and plant his feet as he did. Similar vault than we've seen from Kriukov, but he adds a half twist at the end. Boy, look at the height on that. Just great. Terrific angle to see if he stayed in line with the vaulting table. 
He did land in between and stepped out, so of course, a slight deduction there. I just admire that guy for going for such a tough ball. First ball, Dragulescu from Romania. This is important. Needs a good landing here. He hopes to go ahead and lube in. Oh! Sukumara with a double somersault. Very, very difficult vault with a 10-0 start value. Another one of those vaults invented by a Chinese guy. It's called a yo. That's what you're thinking when you're flying through the air going, yo, yo. man. <laughs> didn't have enough juice. So it's good to see both of his balls came from a 10-0 start value. Actually, that one is a 9-9. Last year it was a 10-0. Now it's a 9-9. Oh. Marian Dragulescu from Romania, currently in second place. His last vault, 9.037. Combined with his 9.737 on his first. Up next, from the Ukraine, Alexander Svetlichny. All right. A handspring double front ball. He landed just about as low as Kriukov did. Nice repulsion off the horse. Beautiful height. See, he pulled his knees apart to help increase his rotation. And also, when you pull your knees apart, it allows you to see the floor a little bit sooner. And that's tough on these forward flipping elements. Watch right here, the position. He starts to crank his knees apart. He's looking for the floor, and boom, found it. Nice, he used nice a little more height. Back. Coached by 89 world champion Igor Korbachinsky. Wonderful competitor back in his day. Nine-year-old Svetlichny with a first vault of 9.4. He mentioned earlier that he's going to do the second vault, a Yurchenko style of vaulting. It's our first look at that tonight from the men. Watch, he's going to turn around and go backwards over the vaulting table and a one and a half twist. That vault is judged on the basis of a 9.5 as the maximum start value. Dominique, you did a lot of these Yurchenko styles. Yeah, this was one of my favorite vaults to do. This is a Yurchenko one and a half. Beautiful form, nice height. Blind landing again. You can see he doesn't see the floor first, but he lands it quite well. Shipkina from the Ukraine on even bar score and currently in second at 8562. The 
men's vault here on day two of the Goodwill Games Gymnastics from the Brisbane Convention and Exhibition Center. Lou Bin right now from China is number one. We just saw Alexander Svetlichny from the Ukraine. He finishes with the 9287. Next now from Poland, Leszek Blanek. This guy has the vaulting capabilities to win this thing at a high level of difficulty. If he goes for this piked Sukahara double back, it's a 10-0 start value. There it is. Beautiful. We've seen these double Sukaharas performed a lot today. That's the third one. Good point, Dominique. With this new vaulting table, we're going to see a higher level of difficulty in the future because mechanically it's an advantage. It's safer. The athletes get sort of in a ramping effect because you'll notice the table is on a slight angle which launches the athletes a little bit higher. Now, he did a fantastic high vault. He didn't drill it like Lou Bin from China, though. In the vault finals, it comes down to who nails the second vault. Most of these gyms have a good first vault. This table is not only safe for the athletes, but it's wonderful because it allows them to increase their difficulty, which will bring up their start value with this new code. at 9725 after his first vault. He is Poland's first gymnast competitor, male or female, in the Goodwill Games. Runs at the 2000 Olympics in Sydney. Competition in Moscow in April this year. 9.8. Fantastic. He's going to go for a handspring double front vault. This combination of a 10-0 start value on his first vault, a 9-8 start value on this vault. If he could put this down, he might go ahead and loop in, but it's a tough one to land. Oh, man, and that was nice. He ended up over-rotating it, which you normally see people almost sit on their bottom. He pulled it a little bit extra, and that's why he ended up getting a large suction on the landing. Well, this is very interesting for the athletes. It's controversial because the athletes want to warm up on the floor. But according to the new rules, these athletes have to warm up on a vaulting horse and a springboard in the back room. It's not as springy as the one out here. The lighting is different. The landing surfaces are different. And I don't like it at all, and the athletes don't like it either. They want to warm up on the floor. But according to the new rules, they're supposed to stay in the back room and then step right out and compete on the vault. They've never even seen it today. <laughs> and for Leszek Blanek of Poland, early number two is second ball to 9 3 2 5. And that puts him at number two, and here is the American. Jason Furr from Fairfax, Virginia. Oh! <laughs> Beautiful! He did drill that ball. Now, you're going to be disappointed, unfortunately, because it's a low start value. The crowd won't understand why the score won't be very high, but this ball is judged out of a 9.3 oh. as all. It's a simple... Sukahar with a full twist in the laid out position, but his style, look at that. Beautiful. He launches it. Look at, he juts his arms out to the side for emphasis. It's going to be hard for the judges to find a deduction in that vault. I made a point earlier about the gymnasts complaining about not being able to warm up out here on the floor. Their coach has decided, and Kevin Majika is his coach down in Houston, that he was going to go his, for his easier vault first because that's a chance for him basically to warm up out here. He's got a more difficult vault that he'll do second, which is the opposite of all the other athletes here. 9.1 for Jason Furr. Pretty good for a vault that can only get a maximum of 9.3. Yeah, definitely a lot of athletes here are against this no touch, no warm up on this apparatus before they compete. If you come out, you're a little nervous, you're a little cold, a little jittery, and that touch usually gets you geared and ready to go to compete. 
And so the reigning U.S. national champion on this event, Jason Furr, with his second vault. Oh, no, he's in trouble. Oh, man. He botched that vault. He was going to do one more somersault. Well, we call that as almost balking the vault. You know, he ended up kicking out and stopping midway through and decided not to go for his difficult vault. Watch what happens technically here. He's supposed to come on with his heels driving in an arched position. Instead, he kind of balls up here and has no ability to generate one more somersault. So he very smartly bailed out instead of perhaps trying to pull all the way around one more somersault and injure himself. Probably a good move. The finals are in for the men's vault and our first participant, Lou Bin, the 21-year-old Chinese performer with the 9556 wins it. Wanik from Poland, the first Polish gymnast ever in the Goodwill Games. And Dragulescu wins another medal like he did last night, tonight getting the bronze with the 9387.